For decades, we've been trapped, bound to the whims of oil companies, rising gas prices, and the pollution our cars create. In the shadow of the 1970s gas crisis, an Ohio inventor named Stanley Meyer promised a miracle, a way to power our vehicles with the most abundant resource on Earth, water. In the top of our news here at 6 o'clock, an age-old dream becoming a reality. A local inventor has discovered a way, hear this, to use water to run your car. Water has always been considered a precious commodity, but Stan Meyer's invention may make it even more valuable. He has developed what's called a water fuel cell. It has taken the place of his old gas tank. The water fuel cell breaks down water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is used to run his dune buggy. Meyer started working on this project four years ago. He's not a scientist. He isn't even a killer. In fact, he never graduated from college. In the heartland of America, amidst the cornfields and small towns of Ohio, a young inventor named Stanley Meyer was about to challenge the status quo. Unlike many scientific minds, Meyer's path to innovation wasn't paved with traditional academic achievements. He wasn't a college graduate with a string of prestigious degrees. Meyer was a self-taught tinkerer, a man who possessed a natural curiosity and a knack for taking things apart and putting them back together in extraordinary ways. By day, he worked as an engineer, but his true passion resided in the realm of unconventional solutions. He devoured scientific journals and library books, fueled by an insatiable desire to understand the world around him. It was this relentless pursuit of knowledge that led him down a path that would forever alter the course of his life, the quest for a clean and sustainable alternative to fossil fuels. Fueled by the global energy crisis of the 1970s, Meyer poured his energy into researching alternative energy sources. By the 1980s, he emerged with a revolutionary claim, a water fuel cell technology that could split water molecules, H2O, into its components, hydrogen, H, and oxygen, O. Hydrogen, when burned in an internal combustion engine, produces only water vapor as a byproduct. No more harmful emissions. Imagine no more gas stations stretching across the landscape. Imagine an end to our dependence on volatile oil supplies from politically unstable regions. No more oil spills devastating our oceans and wildlife. Meyer's invention wasn't just convenient or efficient, it seemed like a solution to some of the world's most pressing problems. News of Meyer's water-powered car spread like wildfire. He appeared on radio shows and in local news broadcasts, showcasing his modified dune buggy and the alleged water-fueled engine. Investors flocked to him, eager to capitalize on this potential world changer. But amidst the public fascination, a storm was brewing. The scientific community greeted Meyer's claims with a healthy dose of skepticism. The laws of thermodynamics, the fundamental principles governing energy transfer and conversion, seemed to contradict Meyer's invention. This violated the first law of thermodynamics, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only converted from one form to another. Critics argued that to generate enough power to move a vehicle, his system would need to put out more energy than it took in to split the water molecules. This violation of basic physics cast serious doubt on the legitimacy of Meyer's invention. Public fascination turned to outrage. Accusations flew that Meyer was a charlatan, preying on the public's desperation for a clean energy solution. Investors who had poured money into his venture felt cheated. A lawsuit followed filed by a former business partner. In 1996, an Ohio court found Meyer guilty of gross and egregious fraud, declaring his water fuel cell technology to be nothing more than an elaborate hoax. The judge ordered Meyer to repay his investor $25,000. This legal defeat was a crushing blow to Meyer's reputation and his dream of revolutionizing the automotive industry. Two years later, Stanley Meyer died suddenly on March the 20th, 1998, while dining at a restaurant. His brother claimed that during a meeting with two Belgian investors, Meyer suddenly ran outside saying, they poisoned me. I have here the official copy of the Stanley Meyer's coroner's report. This is the findings and facts and verdict of the coroner of Franklin County in Columbus, Ohio. 
rupture of cerebral artery aneurysm. He uh, has the uh, his wife's name here. Uh, circumstances surrounding death. Uh, descendant supposedly at lunch with NATO. Um, this really bothers me. When you write supposedly in a government document, um, I, I'm just not sure if that's professional. You can kind of tell that the coroner was already questioning whether he was actually poisoned or not. After an investigation, the Grove City Police agreed with the Franklin County Coroner Report that ruled that Maya, who had high blood pressure, died of a cerebral aneurysm. Some of Maya's supporters believe that he was assassinated to suppress his inventions. Philippe Vandermort Taylor, one of the Belgian investors, stated that he had been supporting Maya financially for several years and considered him a personal friend and that he has no idea where the rumors came from. So did Big Oil silence him to protect their multi-billion dollar profits? Was his death a tragic accident or something more sinister? Meyer's supporters claim his technology was real, and shadowy forces like Big Oil, governments dependent on fossil fuel tax revenue, or even rival inventors suppressed it to maintain the status quo. Was he silenced? The truth about Stanley Meyer and his water-powered car may forever remain a mystery, but his story, one filled with hopes, accusations, and a sudden end, raises a timeless question. Could the keys to a cleaner future be out there, hidden by those who benefit from the way things are? Whether Stanley Meyer was a visionary or a charlatan, his story forces us to consider the possibilities and the potential costs of true innovation. What do you think? Share your theories in the comments below and don't forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe our channel for more informational and amazing content.